Wow, whether you are a Series X or Series X owner or Game Pass fan or just here because you love the sound of my voice, that's not why you're here. There is a lot to be excited about. Let's discuss. I'm Ryan McCaffrey. This is a very special Unlocked post show live after the Xbox press conference. It's all part of IGN's Summer of Gaming. Joining me to help break everything down, Miranda Sanchez, Destin Legary, and Cam Hawkins. And in the chat, we have Jada, so be sure to say hi if you're in chat. Guys, uh, let's get right into it. First things first, biggest topics uh, let's let's go with games first before our overall thoughts of of a very impressive showcase. Destin, go. Yeah, wow, what a show! I really, really think they hit all the beats that they needed to. But the one I was most impressed with was Halo Infinite. They did exactly what I hoped they did. They showed off the engine. They told the story of Master Chief. I cannot wait to watch it again in 4K because we're watching it live, so we're watching it all compressed. But it's already looking really, really good. I am stoked. I, I legit loved how they presented it. I cannot wait to dive into that story story more. Yeah, we uh, we were all, in fact, I believe we have called up our, so we have cameras on us while we're watching this stuff. <laughs> so I think we have the still screenshot that, that our producer sneakily grabbed while we were all watching the Halo Infinite, the multiplayer <laughs> reveal specifically. I don't know if we're going to put that up on the screen here in a second, but <laughs> I, yeah, I was, I Please mean, don't. I was expecting great <laughs> things from Halo Infinite multiplayer and Holy crap, that looked great. The new Banshee looks awesome. The It looks like the return of the Brute Chopper, if my eyes did not deceive me. The new Banshee looked great. Miranda, I know you love Halo as well. Talk about how great that Halo uh, reveal I just was. Had, I just had to like, I was seriously <laughs> finding myself like this. <laughs> oh yeah, I turned off my camera because I was just like freaking out. I think you can almost see a little corner of drool on the corner of my mouth there. Just the eyes wide, like a cam's like, what? Yes. That oh. the the edit for the multiplayer was, was just perfect. Like, <laughs> let's show off all this awesome stuff you can do in multiplayer, and they're they're bringing it back full force. Like, I've never doubted Halo multiplayer. Like Halo Five, they just nailed it. Like, they the multiplayer is phenomenal. So I was like, all right, I just want to see it for the sake of seeing it. Like, just show me my Needler, show me my Pink Spartans. I was so happy. Give us our familiar maps, but also provide us new ones. Show us cool customization. Show us a place that I want to keep returning to with my friends. Um, it being free to play is huge. I, I know obviously a lot of us have Game Pass, but for those of us who don't, it's just like, hey, you want to hop into Halo with me? You don't have to buy it. It's just there. It's fantastic. I am, I'm just so excited, y'all. Miranda, did I did I see, did you see this as well? It looked like Valhalla, the map yeah. Valhalla in there. Did yeah. you see that too? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I know I was calling for Blood Gulch in the pre-show, and maybe I'll still get it, but... Uh, There's yeah. no way they don't give it to us. There's just some <laughs> maps. It's like, you, this is not Halo without these set of maps. Like, yeah. they're classics for a reason, because they are phenomenal. They're designed super well. They're just a place that you can live and breathe and have a good time taking on, capturing the flag, whether you're doing that or, or fighting other people. And I think they've been revealing some more information about, like, modes that are confirmed and other things for... Uh, multiplayer like they, they've already talked to about i guess arena so the 4v4 for the balance for competitive and of course we're gonna get big team battle so cam <sighs> quick, quick quick thoughts cam on halo either the multiplayer or if you feel free to comment on that interesting uh, campaign teaser as well oh yeah so just with the multiplayer it 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 exceeded my expectations like i already thought it was going to be great but then we see like the deflector shield, like blocking a plasma shot and redirecting it, the ricochet gun. There's so much there that just needs to be unpacked. Like you need to do like a rewind theater tra uh, trailer video and oh, just like pick out all the <laughs> new things that have been introduced. Like I didn't think that they would be able to expand that much on the mechanics of Halo, like the way we're seeing it. Uh, we saw it in that trailer. It looks absolutely incredible. And with the story, like I don't even know how to process it, but it's just, it's going to be really interesting uh, seeing Chief um, with this new AI that's not Cortana and like it's going to be really fascinating. It, it, it did everything that it needed to do. I, I'm super, super stoked for Halo Infinite uh, when it comes out this holiday. Yeah, shout out to the part where he grapples an explosive crate and then throws it at that warthog coming at him. I love that so much. <laughs> yes. All right, Starfield was the other big one. We talked about this in the pre-show. We were expecting it. 11, 11, 22. So we have a, a year plus wait here. Todd Howard really seems to like November 11th because Skyrim came out on 11, 11, 11. Destin, we got to see, we didn't just get a, a CG teaser. This was in engine stuff here. What did you think of the new Bethesda Game Studios universe? 
Yeah, the creation engine is looking really, really good. I was impressed by this. And a lot of people, you know, almost to the credit of this trailer, were saying, this looks CG. It's in engine, though. So I'm incredibly impressed by what they were able to show off here because all they're really doing is they're saying, look what our engine can do. And the thing that I like the most about it, when you start diving into what we're seeing, you pointed it out as looking like early space, Ryan. So like yeah. everything you have is sort of uh, a little uh, retro, a little analog. Yeah, yeah. It's retro. Everything's sort of not like the best thing in the world, except for his weapon, apparently. But the ship that he's actually flying in, it's sort of like a clunker. Right. So it's kind of like pieced together. And then uh, she actually takes off uh, near the end of the the, the video. But I, I'm really, really interested in what this world is. Why are we here? The the waving robot has that perfect amount of charm and sort of humor. Like it's just subtle enough that you want to know more about it. You know, you want to learn more about this world. I really, really liked how they handled this Starfield reveal. And the fact that we know now that it's coming out next year and we have some good titles hitting in 2021. Ryan, 2021, they're ramping up to a killer 2022 where they will hit full speed by the look of things. Yeah, Cam, uh, all all worries put to bed here if you're an Xbox fan. Starfield, completely console exclusive, will not be coming to other console platforms. As we've been saying, as we've been expecting, uh, you know, this is such a huge get for for Microsoft. You don't spend seven point five billion dollars on all those studios, <laughs> on some of the most iconic, you know, one of the video, most iconic <laughs> RPG studios ever made to put them on your competing consoles. It's coming to Xbox. It's only going to be on Xbox. Let's go, baby. So we already know the big holiday title, or at least one of the big holiday titles for Microsoft next year. We still don't have a date for Halo. That's I find that a little interesting. I still maintain yes. that the 20th anniversary date of November 15th makes a lot of sense, but there's another game coming oh, out yeah. a week before that, so I don't know. And that game is the big pleasant surprise, Forza Horizon 5. I am a massive fan of Forza Horizon, I think it's one of, I think it is the best driving game period of the last decade. And I, I'm i not exaggerating. I truly believe that each one has somehow gotten better than the last. Uh, Cam, I, I see uh, I see some nodding heads all over the place here. Tell me about Forza Horizon 5 and your reaction to this. Yeah, like I'm going to be, this might be blasphemy, but I've really not played our Forza Horizon game before, but like this is the opportunity to jump in and, and, the variety of environments that we saw, we saw like a tropical rainforest, we saw like just by a beachfront, we see like a desert landscape. There's so much variety in what we're seeing, uh, what we saw in the trailer. Uh, and with it coming to Game Pass day one, like why not hop in? Why not hop in and see see how it is? Like I just from seeing gameplay and playing a little bit of motorsport uh, personally, I know that these are high quality games. Like, you know, they continue to do better and better, which is like really, interesting because it's a racing game like how can you make a racing game better and it's just like well here it is and they show it right here and i'm excited like and the seeing the weather effects that we're seeing right now like which that they introduced uh primarily in uh forza horizon 4 i can't wait i'm, I'm excited to jump in and this is a cross-gen game so this one's coming to xbox one uh it's still i'm sure gonna look great with they mentioned ray tracing on series x but now forza motorsport that's the full next gen game so that that one gets some more time We'll have a Forza Horizon to uh, keep us busy for a while. So for now, right now, we need to take a short break, but stick around. We have plenty more. There is so much more. This was a great conference to talk about here. IGN Summer of Gaming will be right back. <laughs> 